up, heroes? Today, I am doing the Disney tag. I found this tag on Tumblr, and I found it quite interesting, so I figured I'd do the tag for you guys today. The first task on the tag is mention a character which first you did not like, but you took a liking to at the end of the movie. <laughs> I got a good one. I actually, I'm gonna pick Jiminy Cricket. I don't know why I found him so annoying at the beginning of Pinocchio, but then at the end of the movie I was like, oh, okay, fine, you know, he's your conscious, he's like trying to like keep you out of trouble and stuff, so I guess I'll like him. Jiminy Cricket is my answer. The next one, the next question is, what do you prefer? CGI or hand-drawn animation? Even though CGI is beautiful to look at, and I love it, I'm going to have to pick hand-drawn animation. I don't know why, it holds a special place in my heart, and I think, I think it reminds me of when I was a kid, and like, all the Disney Renaissance movies, and all of the nostalgia, and I just have a special place in my heart for hand-drawn animation, so I'm going to say hand-drawn animation. Number three on the list says, which story slash tale would you like to see as the next Disney movie? I have always said that I always wanted to see Jack and the Beanstalk done as a Disney movie, and I'm so excited because it was announced at D23 this year that they'll be doing a movie based on Jack and the Giant Beanstalk called Gigantic, and I wasn't at the panel, so I don't know that much about it, but I'm really excited, and I hope it's a musical. The next one says, Number four says, describe the main character who you'd like to see in a future Disney movie. I think I would like to see, I got it. I would like to see a character that in some way, shape, or form represents the LGBT community because I think it's time for that. I feel like if anybody's gonna do it, it has to be Disney. They're the only people that will be able to pull it off. And I feel like people want that. I feel like everybody's ready for it. I'm gonna say some kind of character represents the LGBT community. Yes. Number five says, which is your favorite first meeting scene? <laughs> I got it. My favorite first meeting scene is between Hercules and Meg because it's so weird and goofy in a way. Most, most first meeting scenes are like either the princess is all disheveled and she bumps into the prince and love at first sight and all that matters, but their Meg and Hercules scene is really weird because he's trying to save her from that centaur guy and she's like making fun of him the whole time and it's really funny. I like Meg and Hercules' first scene the most, I think. Yes. Number six says, <laughs> number six says, would you like to work for Disney someday in any way? Why not? Number seven asks, have you ever been to a Disney themed party? I'm not sure I have been to a Disney themed party. I feel like I would have had to have been to one at least once. I'm gonna say yes, because I swear I had, I swear I had a Disney themed party as a kid. Like, you had to have a Disney themed party when you were a kid, otherwise you weren't cool. And I'm cool, so I'm gonna say yes. But don't tell anybody if I have. Moving on. Number eight says, would you like to have a Disney themed wedding? If there is a concrete movie for it, tell me which one it is. <laughs> I don't know. I might, ugh. I think I'm gonna have to say no, only because if I was gonna have a themed wedding, which is awesome, I'm totally for themed weddings, it would probably be a Pokemon themed wedding before a Disney themed wedding, because Pokemon is my life. But I guess if I was given, if I was given the choice between having a normal wedding and a Disney themed wedding, I would pick a Disney themed wedding because that's awesome. I'm not sure if it would have a particular theme, a Hercules themed wedding, but uh, I'll get back to you on that one. Number nine says, mention one Disney related thing, a movie, a song, activity, anything, which always can cheer you up no matter how sad you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say two because I can't pick one. I'm gonna say number one, Baymax, because Baymax holds a special place in my life. Also, between you and I, I am Hero Hamada. And the second thing is Baby Pegasus. I don't know why Hercules was brought up twice in this tag, but I love Baby Pegasus. Baby Pegasus is my Disney spirit animal. Baby Pegasus is my Disney Patronus. I love Baby Pegasus. Number 10 says, do you have any Disney items with a special memory? If you have, then what is it? 
I think my Disney item would be my Disney name tag, just because I remember very distinctly when I got it, and um, it holds a lot of good memories for me, and it's very nostalgic. And uh, I worked a long time to get it. I think that's my Disney item. Yes, Disney name tag is my item. And the last question or task slash this tag thing asks, which character did slash did you have a serious crush on? Um, ooh, I don't know. I feel like as a kid, I had a really big crush on Esmeralda. Esmeralda's hot, and she's also really nice to Quasi, which won me over. I also had a kind of a crush on Ariel, but not really because she was half fish, and that was weird. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my Disney Tag video. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and you're following me on all my forms of social media. You can find all those links in the description below. I love you guys so much, and until next time, see ya! A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view.